The physical capabilities of humans and animals exceed those of our most capable robots. Not necessarily in terms of their strength and speed, but rather in their versatility. People can master a plethora of diverse skills, adapt remarkably well to changing circumstances and handle new situations well. The question we ask in this work is, how can we endow machines with the flexibility to adapt to real world tasks? We hypothesize that continual adaptation via reinforcement learning can make it possible for robots to start bridging this gap. We chose trash sorting as the task that shows enough variability to test this hypothesis. The sort task that we defined was to move a misplaced object to the correct waste bin. We cared about the weight of the misplaced objects and the speed of the sort. We started by engineering a trash sorting pick and place policy that as a bootstrap mechanism, separately reasons about the visuals of the scene and picks the control strategy to reduce the contamination of the bins. The numerous failure cases of the initial performance clearly confirmed that the number of scenarios that the robots need to master to accomplish this task in the real world is extremely high. Given these results, we started investigating our question. Can continual real-world reinforcement learning methods use ongoing experience to adapt to the ever-changing sorting task? We started with bootstrapping the initial reinforcement learning policy with simulation that is transformed using CycleGAN to look more realistic. The initial performance of the policy trained this way is enough to start collecting data on the real robots. Equipped with that policy, we deployed on multiple robots in a laboratory setting to practice hundreds of real-world trash scenarios and improve our experience. Learning from the simulated and realistic configurations started helping robots when encountering situations they have never experienced before, leading to a higher rate of previously unseen successful sorts. As our final policy architecture, we use an end-to-end -end reinforcement learning trained policy conditioned on an object mask that we obtained from a computer vision pre-trained segmentation model. The model controls both the arm and the base of the robot to complete the task. Here are a few examples of sorting episodes from our fully trained policy. A trained reinforcement learning policy was able to sort many scenarios to 84% success rate when evaluated in a lab setting. However, its hardest test was yet to come. How does it work in the real office building, where our robot fleet needs to sort previously unseen waste in novel sorting scenarios that are created by the occupants of these buildings? We started deploying our system in office buildings and used the data gathered during the deployment phase to train and improve all aspects of our method, including visual preprocessing, sim to real adapters, and the policy itself. When deployed at these buildings, our fleet of mobile manipulators reduced contamination of waste stations filled by office workers unrelated to the project as part of their day-to-day -day by up to 53%. These findings were confirmed with the experiments that were conducted over two years with 23 robots operating on 30 waste stations, making it one of the largest real-world robot learning experiments to date.